All right, what's up? So this is a 2010 uh, M1102 trailer from the Marines. Did all the work. Um, it is tagged and titled. It's registered like the whole nine. So like most people don't have them titled. This one is totally like legit. So <clears throat> first of all, this is like for a, for a hose. We do have oops, running water and a hose and it's also heated water. Uh, so there's a pump in there going out to here and you can just like use it to hose stuff off. Got a hundred gallons of fresh water in here. Uh, then this is just like a regular um, like hose intake and so is this um, and their breather right there. This one goes into the water tank as well and that's for like the giant tubes. Up top, 400, uh, 100 watt solar panels feeding into two 200 amp hour batteries inside and we'll show you that soon but this is the power so there's a 12 volt system this is a 12 volt system still plenty of room i left uh like all the stuff like loosely zip tied so if you want to run more stuff you can um and then we've also got 120 outlet or 120 out with um this is a 3000 watt inverter Everything's Renogy, including the uh, the Renogy um, charge controller for the solar panels um, and the panels themselves. And then got some circuit breakers. Um, this circuit breaker kept going bad on here. So I just bypassed it. Renogy said you don't even need one on it. So cool. Um, also have a, uh, an amp meter on it. So we know exactly like how much charge we have left, how much, you know, battery we have left. This also controls the uh the energy charger but i mean when you put power on it turns on anyway so turn everything off right now so everything's off this is the main breaker that goes on and there you go so now you've got 120 volts here and 120 volts on the other side as well uh, my wife runs her, her, what, the blower, right? The hair, hair yeah. blower. Um, as well as the, uh, curling iron thing that I call it a bacon fryer. Um, so then right here, these are the three leads for the 120. So if you want more outlets, cool, do it. So then here's the 12 volt, like I said, and you can do it there. And then that's the, um, for the solar. So. We've been, we've gone out like weeks at a time and never, never ran out of power. So it was pretty good. My, uh, my buddy, um, charged his Jackery one time and that needs to be tightened. It, that like took some juice out of it, but it was fine. So here we go. All of the locks, all the doors have locks. They all have the same key. So that's really nice. Um, right here on both sides, we have this, this is water. Like I said, um, now this goes from the um, Julka, right? We got the Julka system. So you've got instant hot water as long as you have the, the propane hooked up. Um, with the lights, everything has been converted to the, to the 12 volt system. Um, some of the lights are a little dim, but I think that's just because they should be 24 volt and they're 12 volt. Uh, so back here, this is where I do all the cooking. This is where we, we just have the bins and all that, right? Now, you also have, did I leave the power on? Okay, so we also have um, light right here. Got a loose connection right here, just gonna have to fix that. But, so I set up a table right here and I got cooking. And then I got water right here. It's like the Julka um, bucket and have it right there. Uh, and then if you need to use 12 volt or USB or the 120, it's right there. So that's really convenient right here, especially having this light. Uh, this is a, uh, I forgot the, the name of the brand. Um, I'll put it in the actual ad. Uh, oh, OVS, Overland Vehicle System. Um, 273, or no, excuse me, 180 degree awning. It does not need these, but we put them up anyway. Um, we actually went out to Moab uh, two years ago 
port a year and a half ago and this was up and the winds actually like didn't damage the awning at all but it bent the actual mount back here which is steel so it's kind of crazy this thing's beefy as heck all right so moving around back we do have the smitty built gen 2 xl rooftop tent and the awning room that uh, we'll go in there and show you all that in a second good uh, so here is just like storage we would we actually put the awning room in its bag this is the bag for it right here and then we have like a little fold-up toilet and all that um, this is an extra LED strip USB powered goes with the um, with the tent this is uh, the bag for the poles and then stakes galore. So uh, that's the Julka bucket, right? And then you've got the sink or the, the faucet, which plugs in to the water hose that's over here, which brings me to the OBS shower, All right? Now this little pool thing is supposed to be like a dog bath, but uh, it works great. Just put a hose to it and run the water wherever you want it to go. Um, we just didn't want water right by the campsite. So this provides a great, great privacy. And here's the, the water, right? Um, and you just put it on and bam, like two, three seconds in, you get hot water. So let me open the, actually, let me put this back. Now, this does have the ability to take stakes. It also has rods in here. Um, we've, we've got the rods in there that kept coming out, so we just left them out or like screw it. So, all the other doors stay up by themselves pretty easily. This one, so many people have come in here and played with the hot water. Like, you know, friends come with me camping and then they're like, oh, I want a shower. It got bent. So, I just need another rod. Uh, so, that brings me to the issues. Needs a rod here. Needs one of these rods for the other side. Um, you'll see it. And then... Uh, there's one other thing and I don't remember what. Oh, these foot step things. Look, I'm like 225 pounds. My son, how much does Nicholas weigh? Maybe 80. He's fine, right? And I've been on most of these, but one over there, it started coming out. So it just needs a, a bigger nut sir. But anyway, so those are the three things that's, that's only thing messed up with it. So like I said, here's the, Here's the whole like water system and all that. Got a couple valves and all that. Here's the pump, if you can show them in here. That's the pump. Um, it is a Harbor Freight pump. Don't hate, it works great. Good old brush. So the, uh, like I said, the 12 volt system, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do over here. So I kind of left it um, loose. So right now it's going to the pump, I believe. And it's plugged in there we go. and then we got water we can go over there and spray it now if you wanted to use the julka you know red to positive black to silver or to negative gold silver and then the julka is there all right the hose for the um 
for the uh, uh, propane is over there as well. Everything's already plumbed up. You don't need to do anything, all right? Now there are ways to have this like pull in water from like out there, right? And you would have to mess with the, um, there's a four way valve down here and a couple other valves. You can actually use that pump to pull water like from a lake or anything like that. Because with the Julka system, we also got like one of the filtered things. So we got that as well. So if you're ever out there in the middle of nowhere and you don't have a place to fill up water, you're good. As long as you have a lake. Um, probably wouldn't drink it at that point. You know, at least uh, you could boil it. Um, there's also hoses down here. This hose is for this. Um, and then, yeah. Never leave home without a little bit of bleach that's empty. Um, and then always use your camping soap. The good stuff. This is a funnel. Um, before I put the larger fill in there, this is what we had to use. But as you can see, this is the fill right here. And we took a hose, like seriously this big, and it just filled up this 100 gallons in, I don't know, a minute, if that. So, here's that. Um, okay, so there's that. So all of these, both sides, they come out a little bit. Yeah, hit it. it has like a couple feet of leeway. So if you want to have the actual hose over here, like on the table, for this thing, you can have it there. Or have it closed like that. You tighten this right here. And then this piece literally broke when I took it off earlier. This little thing right there, and it caps it off. So now, if you use the other side, you're not squirting water out here. Or if you use this side, you're not squirting water out of there. Um, I'm gonna zip this up while you start going up there. So, like I said, it's the Gen 2 Smitty Built XL. Great views, like you've got the skylights, you've got the USB white light, um, you got pockets everywhere. It's, it's like, honestly, it's pretty good. What we also would do is actually um, run a USB extension cord from down there on the side, bring it up to here. Same with a, uh, 120 volt um, cord as well. And then like, I've got a CPAP, so all night I'd just have my CPAP going. Uh, the kids, you know, can charge their tablets or whatever, what have you, so. And then the awning room right here, it's plenty enough space, like plenty enough space. Um, you know, the window here, window there, the, I mean the door there, door's also got a screen in that window there. These windows don't open, they just screened. Um, here, let's see. All right, so this is inside the trailer. Uh, now you can see, you know, clearly you can go underneath. Um, if you wanted to bring this down, you could bring this down and like just totally wall this off right here. Uh, honestly, my, my son like sleeps like a, like a crazy person. And so we have like a mattress that we just throw down here for him as well. And he just closes this up and just passes out. Um, so he's kind of got his own little space. But this is the 100 gallon water tank. That's the two two batteries right there. This is, you know, uh, an outlet, a cigarette uh, outlet. There's the propane. See all this red hose? That's all excess for the, for the lines. Um, right here is actually a tracking device. That's why it's plugged in right now. And you can pay monthly for it. I wanna say it's track four or something. Um, it's like, I don't know, 
15 bucks for six months or something. But this is the inside. So it's it's all Raptor lined. Some of it's, you know, seen some abuse. Um, we're not easy on this thing. You know, I, I take it off off road and have fun with it. And, and all that. Oh, right here is the light switch, dimmable to off. Um, but yeah, I take it off road with this thing. So it's uh, that's it. Hey, if you have any questions, just uh, let me know. But only reason we're getting rid of it is because we're we're actually wanting to to put you know some stuff on the back of the truck here and um, just do it a little bit differently. Every uh, every couple of years I change it up and it's never been the same since. So yeah. Oh, by the way, all the e brakes work. The surge brakes work. Like the trailer tracks great. You can do 89, 80 to ninety miles an hour, no issues. Um, and also, if you don't know military trailers these um these are like actual arms so it's actually sitting all the weight is on here and on the jack um and the tires can actually spin so but yeah everything works and uh and it's all good but if like i said if you have any questions just uh let me know and um yeah have a good one